is this whole thing about listening about, you know, we are all individuals and we're all different because we have different, different experiences, different Mm -hmm. filters, different beliefs, different values, different everything. Mm -hmm. And we're here, I think, to try to learn to get along and love each other. And the only way we can really do that is to understand other people and allow them to be who they are Mm -hmm. and not assume that they are going to be us. Mm. And that was a long learning for me. Yeah. When I was younger, I was, you know, my friends and my family, they all laughed that I became a listening person because listening was not anything I ever did growing up. I remember totally being in my 20s saying just highly inappropriate things to people (laughs) and out in public, you know, thinking, well, this is how I feel. Just take it. That's what it's supposed to be. I have to have an example. Are you comfortable sharing an example? I think so many people could resonate if you're comfortable. I mean, I have so many examples, <laughs> you know, I do remember. Mm, Where do I choose? Yes, yes, yes. And <laughs> one of them, I had a boss who was, oh, I did not, I did not like her at all. I did not think she was uh, a nice uh, or kind person. And uh, she was just really hard on me. And I remember being called into her office. And this is unseemly. <laughs> yeah, she said something about me, and I said, well, at least I'm not a bitch. Oh, <laughs> you did it? Yeah. How did it feel at that moment? I've never done it. Well, I just want to know how it feels from someone. You know, in the moment, I thought it was the right thing to yeah. say, but in yeah. retrospect, it was really, don't do this, children. Don't, <laughs> don't do, do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, The personnel really... and human resources managers yeah. don't recommend yes, it. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I was fired from that job, and mm-hmm. rightly so, yeah. but yeah. Of course, at that age, I didn't understand that, right? This is how I felt. You are yeah, being yeah, a bitch, yeah. right? So, yeah. so just knock it off. Yeah, you're being a hateful bitch. What, yeah. There's nothing else here to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Whew. so there's an example for you. Uh-huh. You know, so you just... You That's just, a good example. Yeah, you just have to learn to bite your tongue. And I use that that strategy of biting my tongue for yeah. a number of different things. Yeah. Um, kind of kind of going back to this idea of things that I've learned growing up that I did highly inappropriately (laughs) or just altogether wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought, I just really thought that everybody thought the way I did, right? And I just thought, Mm -hmm. I remember being 12 years old and thinking, well, if you're a manager, you just tell people what to do and they do it, right? right? Because Mm -hmm. you're the boss and you told them what to do. But It doesn't work that way. And the older I get, the more I see Mm -hmm. of just how different people are. But we all have that basic desire to be heard and understood for who we are. Yeah. And so you go through that experience. You look back on it now, it's like, there's no way I could have been an educator on listening at you know, early thirties or whatever, you know, Colin, you know, and I, I've definitely had my fair share of moments in organizations, you know, getting fired for calling people names and like Mm -hmm. had enough of it, you know, and now it makes the quality of your work that much more impactful because you can go back and give those real life scenarios that so many people are, are so afraid to vulnerably share. Mm -hmm. And you say, this is where I draw it from. Mm -hmm. It's, I, I don't draw it from some sort of, you know, textbook, the textbook helped me provide structure to it, mm-hmm. but the art in, of listening also comes from my story. Yeah. <laughs>